and I went out and we got a blue fish, we got a red fish, and a lot of times I don't like to fillet the fish right away, um, but I do want to keep it fresh, so I'll cut off the head, uh, I'll gut it, and I'll just throw it in the refrigerator, and then come back later, maybe later that evening, or the next day, and I'll fillet it when Kim's ready to cook. Uh, she's a good cook, so I want to give her a good piece of meat. So this video is about me filleting fish. I'm going to do the blue and the red. Look, I am not a professional when it comes to filleting fish, uh, I, but if you don't know how to fillet fish, I'm going to look like an expert. So this video is just giving you a little heads up on how I do it and if you don't know how to fillet a fish it's going to be very helpful and if you do know how to fillet a fish like just you can put nasty comments below and just tell me I'm butchering the fish. Alright here we go. Hey y'all come on out here man we about to get this thing started y'all know how we do it out here right? All right, so we got two fish. We got a blue fish, we got a red fish. This is the blue fish, and I'm flaying it right here with a flay knife, starting at the tail. This does not have a thick skin. It's pretty easy to cut through. Sharp knife, keep them sharp. And I'm just starting at the tail, and I'm just cutting through, as you can see right here. And what I'm trying to do is keep that knife against the backbone. You can feel it. And so I have most of the meat on the top of the right hand of the screen, and the bottom left being the the bones and right here I'm going over the rib cage and I'm just trying to get in there and make sure that my knife is separating the rib cage so the ribs stay on the bottom and the meats on the top so basically when I cut that fillet I have nothing but a nice chunk of fish meat that I can make fish tacos out of um, or some other recipe so once it's done I'm just gonna cut through and that's gonna separate the two right there now look there's some belly meat I'm gonna cut that off you might be like why are you wasting that little piece of meat right there that little chunky left over because um, blue fish eat other fish and you can have high mercury is stored in the belly meat. So I don't really want to deal with that. Of course I'm going to feel for some bones, make sure I got them out. And with this piece I did a pretty good job. So I want to get the skin off. So again I take my fillet knife, I push it down at the bottom there. So it's separating the fillet from the skin. And I just pull it through. I keep that skin tight and I pull the knife through. Here I'm going to hold it down. And once I get it all the way through, I've separated that skin right there and that can go and I've got a nice fillet. Now this is the red drum. Now red drum, they have big scales. So you can see right here I'm taking my fillet knife. I'm actually having a hard time cutting through. I'm actually kind of scraping it a little bit trying to just get some of those scales out of the way because um, it's so hard to cut through. And my knife was sharp. I actually switched knives at this point. That one was a little bit dull from, from doing the uh, bluefish. So I get my knife in there. Once I get it through the skin it's going to be pretty easy, but I've just got to cut through those scales and that skin. So that's what I'm doing right here. Again, trying to keep it against the backbone. It's a nice, it was a 22 inch red drum, so it's a lot of meat on that. Um, not a small fish and a lot of meat and I don't want to waste any of it. Now look at the scales. You can see them popping off. The same size as my thumbnail, right? Some of those scales are pretty big. Just to give you an indication of how big those scales are. Now right here I've gotten through pretty good. So at the bottom that's easy. And then once I get to the top here, I'm going to start feeling those um, rib, the rib cage basically of the fish. Now, if you ever gutted a deer and you've had to uh, pull a knife across a deer and you hear that scrape, scrape, scrape of the bone, with a big red drum like this, you're going to hear that same sound. You're going to be able to feel those bones. The knife's going to hit them and it's going to click so you can actually tell, okay, I'm above it, I'm below it. And you want to be above it just because you're separating the meat from the bone, right? So all the way down. Cutting that through. Now, some people can do this. If you've seen other YouTube videos, they can do it like in three seconds. And uh, then they'll be like, I'm slowing down to show you in the video. Well, I'm not slowing down to show you the video. I'm just slow. <laughs> this, is, this is my natural pace right here. I'm a slow filleter. I'm not a butcher by any, by any <laughs> uh, step of the imagination. Right? Okay, so here I am cutting that off. I'm going to again cut right here through this bone um, and cut this basically the belly fat off because red drum again they're big fish they eat other fish I don't need I don't need the belly fat I don't need the mercury I love fish it's supposed to be healthy but mercury is not healthy so we're going for the healthy stuff right so that's gonna come off and I'm gonna have a really nice piece of filet make some fish tacos make some I don't know what some other recipes we can do the crab stuffed red drum that'd be pretty good I grabbed the other knife just to cut the skin again look at those scales again you can see in there like I said same size as my thumbnail so that's a piece of fish right there and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna feel for the bones and I'm gonna flip it over uh, and I'm gonna stick my knife underneath there right up against the skin and just like I did the blue 
we're going to separate that skin from the fillet. The knife's going underneath there. I'm pressing it down. There's some flexibility in the knife, right? The knife is not, um, it's a solid piece of metal, but it, it bends. It has flex to it. Any good fillet knife will. So that's great. I want to be able to press it down and get some flex with it so I can get this fish separated from its, its scales and its skin. I don't have to deal with scaling it. You can see right there. And if I pull it through, and that's it. So there's your skin. Pretty much not much meat on it. Look at that. I can make a wallet out of that. It's so thick. Make a leather jacket out of that. It's so thick. Now a lot of people that don't like the bloodline, so they're going to cut out the bloodline. You can come through here. You can make like a sort of a V-cut, cutting on one side, then cutting the other, pulling out that bloodline. I don't have a problem with it. I don't mind the meat. Here's the bluefish. Same thing. Has a serious bloodline. Now with the bluefish, there will be bones in there sometimes, so you do want to do that just to pull out the little pin bones. Uh, but other than that, once, you're, once you got your fillets, I stick them in a plastic bag. Now, bluefish does not keep long. You kind of want to eat it the day that you caught it or the day after you caught it. So that's going in the fridge. And I could freeze the red drum. I could have stuck it in a better vacuum steel bag or something like that. But we're going to eat it. So both these things are going in the refrigerator. Probably eat the bluefish. Eat the drum later on. What's left to do? You got your skins. You got your bones. You can put them in your crab trap. But you know what? I thought this time the crabs... I would give them a little, this little perk, right, for being crabs and sacrificing their brothers and sisters from other crab boils. So I, I gave it away for free. So there they go, ready to go. They're gonna have. Y'all ready? Yeah. Now here we go.